good morning. It's Tracy and Violet and Boris from Nova Scotia Living. And we're out on this early rainy morning. I can't keep you out long because it's raining. Uh, not hard, but hard enough that I don't want my phone to get wet. Uh, yeah, just going for our early morning walk. It's about quarter to seven. I didn't get up as early as I wanted to, but I... Oh. Well, as you can see, well, no, I didn't show you yet, but last night my daughter Mally and I peeled 20 pounds of potatoes and 20 pounds of carrots, so here you go. Oh, and chopped up, I think it was three pounds of onions. I don't know. Here you go. Alright guys, um, it is 9.06, I dropped, well we went to the dentist and her appointment is until 3 o'clock today, I thought it was at like 8.30, so I brought the girls to camp, I went and picked up the chickens and the roast beef, um, I went into the dollar store 
because I told Mazaya I'd get her Pringles if she went to the dentist and got a filling. Oh, just a minute. Yeah, so I got her that, and now I'm getting Mally uh, a little thing from Tim Hortons for helping me last night and watching those potatoes and carrots that I turned on before I left. And I'm dropping Marquise's phone and stuff off to Kara's house because I stayed there last night. So then I'm heading home and I'm going to try to smash out as much work as I can in regards to this food. Um, hopefully the potatoes will be just about done when I get there so I can use that big stock pot to boil five whole chickens and we'll go from there. Ooh, I'm home now. It is so hot in my kitchen. I have the window open, the fan going. I strained the potatoes as soon as I got here because they were done and the carrots. <coughs> I have one more pot of carrots to do though, like a potato pot. And I got a, two rapid pie mixes and four chickens. <coughs> oh, I got a tickle. So I'm just filling up my stock pot for uh, boiling those chickens and yeah, we'll get that going. All right, I just went down to the store. I got some milk. These are the 20 pounds of potatoes. I did put butter in them and it melted in. So I'm gonna start whipping them up. I'm not supposed to use salt, so I'll use pepper and butter and milk. I know, but there will be a beef gravy. So that can go over top of it to at least give it a little flavor.
shower, I can tell you that much. But I'm about to get those, there's two big beef roasts uh, from a butcher, and they're big. And um, the lady sent out a bunch of spices yesterday without salt in it, and I don't know, I'm so used to using my stuff, but um, yeah, there's Canadian steak. I'll throw a bit of that in there. There's beef, soup, gravy, no salt added. I'm going to throw a bit of that in there. And then there's pot roast. I'm going to throw a bit of that in there. And then the onions that we chopped up yesterday, I'll throw a bit of that. And there is some minced garlic. I could throw some of that in there. And water, of course. That's what I'll, that's what I'll do. And, whew, it's hot. But once those are going, I'm just waiting for that chicken to be done boiling. You'll have to wait a minute, Evie. And, um, yeah, I'm going to step out of the kitchen for a minute just to cool down. But I've been loading up and cleaning up as I go. I'm going to wash those two big bowls that the potatoes were in because they don't fit in the dishwasher and I don't want them sitting out all day. I'm just going to wash them in the sink along with that strainer. And there's another pot of carrots that I'm about to strain. And then i got to do that up too, but I'm going to get the, po uh, the roasts in the slow cooker first. here's the carrots I strained them I put butter didn't put any salt it's driving me crazy I did put a pinch of sugar not very much she said nobody has diabetes and I, I have to have some sort of seasoning I'm going crazy I don't have any real vegetable seasoning like I don't know I don't know so but there is a bit of butter and uh, pepper and uh, just a little bit of sugar not as much as I would if I was cooking this much carrots but I have to for my mental stability, I guess.
right, so here's the first three wrapper pies. Um, there's more chicken that'll probably go in the other ones. I just wanted to be safe. I put black pepper in this superb fish and poultry. It smells good to season the meat. Oh, well the meat, we use that and some rotisserie chicken spice to flavor that. And yeah, I just put the black pepper in that poultry seasoning. I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm really like, I need to double check. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm just feeling bad. I can't season it how I really want to season it, but hopefully it goes okay. So I have the oven preheating. I'm going to get them on cookie sheets and this will take two and a half, three hours to do because I have three separate pans and then I got to do it all over again. All right, I washed all the dishes. It's 1.10 now. I even washed the turkey roaster. There's a little bit of broth left in there, so I'm gonna leave that. And I would start on the next mix, but I'll have to go get the kids for two o'clock. So yeah, I'm gonna hold. All right, I'm gonna have one of those um, carbonated waters, mandarin orange, and just sit down a minute because the kitchen's pretty much cleaned up for the most part. I mean, there's still that big piece of wood on my table, but I'll need that after when I take the rapid pies out of the oven. And the dishwasher needs to be emptied. Um, I think it just finished, but I'm not doing that until it cools down a bit because I'm hot enough. All right, guys. Uh, it's 20 to 2. I'm on my way to go get the girls. <sighs> um, my husband's still here. He is heading to the city, though, but he's going to wait about an hour so he can rotate those rapid pies I put in the oven. And... Yeah, Mazaya's dentist appointment is for three. The girls are done camp at two, so maybe we'll go over to Papa's or something like that. I'll have a cup of tea if I'm not too hot. And yeah, hopefully her, she has to get one filling. So I don't know how long that takes, maybe a half hour. I don't know. Then I'll come out and May, Misha's supposed to have a soccer game tonight in a neighboring county, but it's raining off and on. So I don't know. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be a go or not. I like watching soccer, but it's wet and muggy out, so I kind of hope they switch it to another day. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, we made it to the school. Oh. I have the form I forgot yesterday, just so. Oh, yeah, anyways, we'll see how they made out. And it's not raining now, but it's really, really humid not caring for that. They're still in there, so I'll wait a minute. Look how shiny the floors are. Hello. Uh, they're almost done. Um, so they're just going to come out when they're all finished. I guess it's prize day, so they're giving out prizes. So that's fine. We got time to kill, so take your time, folks. All right, we just got the Papa's, but he's not here. But Mzai's going to brush her teeth. The girls want to walk around the block. And then when they get back, we'll go over to Mazaya's appointment. Well, Papa just got home. Misha went out in the ditch and picked some uh, blueberries. So you'll get to visit with Papa for like maybe three minutes and then we got to go. So make sure you guys give him big hugs. All right, guys, we made it back home as I did fantastic. I'm just heating up leftover barbecue chicken from yesterday. That's some leftover salad and leftover macaroni and cheese salad. So I'm doing up some plates now. All right, I think I'm going to get something to eat, but I'm waiting for the stock pot to come up to boil. And then I'll do the other rapi pie up. I won't get you to watch, but just know that I'll do it. Mally's at the kitchen cutting up mushrooms. She's making a mushroom. What? pasta dish. I said, yeah, you got to wait till I'm done with the stove top. After I'm done this, I'll be all done with the stove top stuff so she can have free rain. All right, I'm having the last three sausages and some salad and I'm putting ranch on because I guess I'm 10 years old, but I just can't find any, uh, <laughs> Melly looks at me funny. Can't find any of the other stuff, so I'm using that.
right guys did you like the pictures of all the pies i just put the other three in the oven now these are just sitting out to cool i can't cut them up till they cool but i need to start working with this roast beef we put in the slow cooker um it smells good i'm gonna take it out and put it on a turkey platter probably thank you bud and i'm hoping it's tender because i think a couple people have a hard time with tough stuff if not maybe their portion i think it should be tender this has been in the slow cooker all friggin' day. It's got to be tender. Got to be. Well, that was a bit of a job, getting that one out anyways. But I'm gonna save these drippings and make gravy out of it. And I do have that gravy powder stuff if I need more. But um, I'm gonna try to cut these up. guys this is a beef gravy from one of the uh, slow cookers yeah one of the roast beefs I put back in the slow cooker and I'm gonna leave it a while it was humongous uh, I was cutting it shaving it <clears throat> it was coming off beautifully but it was getting to the middle it was still a little pink and that's not like I want to cook it to dry out and it's not shreddable you know how sometimes you do stuff in slow cookers and it shreds right up it's not like that <clears throat> so I'm gonna sit down I'm hot I tried a piece, a um, spoonful of Mally's mushroom pasta. It's friggin' delicious. I'll show you it after, but I'm about to make a gravy. And then when that other roast beef is done, I'll make another gravy. I do have things out. I'm going to start. I got the potatoes ready. This is, I'll show you the other roast beef. Just let me turn you around. There, that's one of the roast beefs. So I'll do up what plates I can, and then I can put those away and... Uh, when the other one's done, I can do that. And the containers I have are like this. So I'll put potato balls and roast beef in the big section and then have a good helping of carrots because i got lots of carrots. And I'll put gravy on the potatoes and great, um, meat. I don't know if I'll put it on carrots because maybe not everybody likes that. And that's my plan. But I first need to make some gravy. I almost forgot. I'm just having sparkling water. And yeah, I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm going to start. I need to start. But I still have another full tray of potato balls. Big old pot of carrots. That's Harriet. One of the roast beefs. I got the gravy. It's quite thick. I keep loosening it up. But it's just... But I tasted it. It's missing. It's missing some flavor. It is. It's bland as all get out, even though it doesn't look like it is. But... I'm not supposed to use the stuff I usually use, so I can't. Oh well, I don't know. I don't know. I did put like some onion powder and garlic powder, but you just need that little extra edge and it's not there, so I don't know. Alright friends, that fan is doing nothing for me at all. At all. Those just came out of the oven. These ones cooled down while those were cooking. So they're still a smidge warm, but I'm going to cut them up 
and put them in those containers. I loaded up all the rest of the roast beef dinners and they're in coolers in ice and in freezer packs. They should be perfectly fine till tomorrow morning. When I go in to drop the kids off, I'm bringing those to the lady and that'll be that. I'd go in tonight, but I'm so tired and hot and uncomfortable. I need a cold shower, but I'm gonna cut these up and put them in. These will take a couple hours before I can cut them, uh, but these ones can go away, go away. All right, I cut up the first three. I have 18 here, so I'm gonna have extra. So I think I'm going to just check with the lady, but I'll give one to Saritha and one to my dad and I'll get the dishes back and then give them back because she plans on getting all these dishes back from these people. Because dad likes rapi pie, Saritha likes rapi pie, and if there's extra like that, um, I don't know, I'll see, we'll see. But yeah, those are good sized portions, you know. For some, that might even be two meals. You never know. But I'm going to put covers on these and put these ones in coolers. I'm running out of coolers, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh! I think Misha fell on her keister. She has a sore backside. <laughs> all right, you need to go brush your teeth. So I have them all done up. Um, 18. Yeah. I do have more coolers out in the shop. I'm just being lazy. But I gotta find, gotta find something. Of course, I turn it on. For a stop. He's standing right in front of the fan. Just a minute. I always clean this tail. I'm just sending the kids to bed. There's Violet. They were watching Monkey Sniper. Must be a channel. I don't know. But yeah, he's laying right in that direction of that fan that I pointed towards me and turned on high. Oh. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. I swear to goodness. I hit snooze like six times. Not even joking. I could have laid in bed all day. Well, probably not, but now that I'm up, I'm fine. It's just getting up. But those meals are all done. They're all packed, ready to rock. And we're going to deliver them. I'm going to drop them off when I go to town this morning. So, yeah. Anyways, I want to end this video so I can start a new one. But that was the first, the first go at that. I'm going to see how long I can do that. If it gets too overwhelming, I'll say... I need help. I don't want to just quit on them, but I'll need help. Or, you know, I'll do one meal. Somebody else does the other meal. Just right now, there's only a handful of people. So, uh, like, well, there's volunteers to deliver it, which is good, because I didn't want to be doing all that and, like, any kind of administration stuff. Come on, Boris. Oh, Violet. Oh, I'm getting all twisted in my feet. Yeah, anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. I know it was a lot of fast-paced stuff, but I had a lot going on. And, oh, yeah, but we got it done. We did get it done. I know the first few times is going to be the hardest, just to work out the kinks and stuff. And when it's not summer, like when it's the cooler months, yesterday was bloody hot. And humid and cooking all that terrible terrible idea Tracy but I did it uh, we need to get this down to a, a good system kind of thing not that it was bad but it's just there's a lot going on in the summer when the kids are back to school on that kind of a re regular routine I'll be able to do it more efficiently oh here comes the car yeah so anyways First go, not bad. We'll deliver it. We'll drop it off. And we'll see about next week. I don't know. This is supposed to happen every week. And, okay. But in the fall, I might try to do like four meals in two days. So I'd have it, do it every two weeks. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 
Anyways, I'm gonna say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love ya. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.